I'm Dean Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're going to be back here with the Umarex Tremont. And the reason is, is the last video, which is the full review uh, that you want to watch, I made a couple of mistakes. One is, this is not available in a 22. It's 177 only. And also, the other one was, as I said, that there is a, a rifle, but the stock available. Well, I got that all mixed up with the morph. The morph there is, yeah, you can have another barrel. It's, it's completely different. We won't even go into that because I haven't got one. But uh, this doesn't. It still shoots pretty good. And what I'm going to do today, we're going to do just a little bit of shooting. Just a little bit. I've set up three of my empty, empty, I stress empty, seafoam cans. And uh, we're going to shoot at those for one reason, then I can hear it a little bit better because we're going to be shooting this at 25 yards. That's right, 25 yards. Basically, this is a 10 yard and less type of a gun. Uh, it's a brake barrel. If you haven't seen it before, it's a brake barrel. And single shot, of course, when it's a brake barrel like that, unless it's like a, a gamma swarm, of course, but uh, which has a 10 shot magazine. But these, this is a pistol, brake barrel pistol, single shot, and I have an OTW red dot sight, which also has the green, and I'm going to adjust that to the lower intensity. The reason being is the lower the intensity that you can go, the finer that dot. Uh, you start getting a little bit higher, the dot spreads out a little bit more, and at 25 yards, I want the, all of it I can have, plus I'm having a lot of problems with my left arm today, where I'm having a lot of shaking in the hand, and uh, so I want to really try to study this and see if I can hit 25 yard shots with this. And uh, so why don't we go, we're going to take a shot, I've got it down here on a little longer range, and uh, we'll see if I can hit those cans and then we're going to come back. Well, I took those 25 yard shots. Here's one of the cans. In fact, this is the one that was laying down. Uh, I knocked it over, of course, when I shot the other one. It fell over and then I hit it again, which you probably heard. That's, that's what I like about these because you do get a sound out of them. And uh, so, especially when you're shooting, this really isn't a perforating gun at 25 yards. That's for sure, but it does put a pretty good dent into the thing. And uh, because these are a tougher can, by the way, they're not real, real lightweight aluminum. They're they're a little bit tougher. So that, that's one reason I like them. I mean, if you put a hole in them, like some of these places that you have put them in, that's a pretty good hit on the thing. And uh, like I said, it, they were great though. I like them for especially the long distance plinking like that when you have something that you know this is at tops 600 feet per second. And uh, I'm probably, I'm shooting these, what they call Excite. They're H&M Sport Excite pellets. Uh, they've been real good for plinking. I, I really like them. This is the wad cutter. And they're not gonna pierce as much with that lower velocity at that distance, especially in the air gun. I don't really know what the true velocity is. They say that it'll shoot about 540, I guess, uh, feet per second with a lead and this is a lead um, this might be a little less who knows um, without an actual meter to do it we won't know but the company let's go by what they say you know they'll shoot 540 to 600 feet per second so whatever it was i did hit 
at 25 yards with three shots. Of course, I shot the one laying down, but uh, it still worked. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of playing.